This is level one DIY for unit two, standard 65W2. And we're going to be talking about subjects and predicates, simple and complete. So first, what you need to do is make sure you put your name on your paper. Okay. Let's look at this first part right here that gives us a little information about what we're going to be doing. It says every sentence has two parts, a subject and a predicate. The subject part of a sentence names whom or what the sentence is about. The predicate part of a sentence tells what the subject does or has. It can also describe what the subject is like or is or is like. So for example, this first subject part is the mountain climbers. The predicate part is what they did, which is reached the peak. So our sentence reads, the mountain climbers reached the peak. The complete subject is all of the words in the subject part of a sentence. So this right here, the mountain climbers, is the complete subject. The complete predicate is all of the words in the predicate part of a sentence. So in our example up here, reach the peak is our predicate. Our second example gives us the complete subject and the complete predicate of this sentence. The horse's black mane was blowing in the wind. The horse's black mane is our complete subject and was blowing in the wind was our complete predicate. The simple subject is the main person or thing the subject part of the sentence. The simple predicate is the main word or group of words in the predicate part of the sentence. So in our first subject, the main part, or the first example, our main subject, which is our simple subject, would be climbers. And our simple predicate would be that the climbers reached. And our second example that we were given, the horse's black mane, the complete subject is the horse's black mane. The simple subject is just the mane. But the complete predicate was blowing in the wind. The simple predicate would be was blowing. So the main was blowing. In our third example, our complete subject would be the horse's black mane, just like we showed up here. And the simple predicate, again, was blowing in the wind. So let's go to our exercise one. One through ten. And it says, draw one line under each sub complete subject and two lines under each complete predicate. They give us an example. The bottle of milk is in the refrigerator. The bottle of milk is our complete subject. Is in the refrigerator is our complete predicate. Let's do one through three together. Number one, that little dog is following us to school. If we find our verb, which is is, and put our line right there, it splits our sentence into two parts. The first part is always our complete subject, so we can put one line under that. The second part 
is following us to school is our complete predicate. So we're going to put two lines under that. Remember, if you're not sure what verbs are, a verb is an action. Or it could be is, are, was, were. Am, or be. Let's look at number two. Brian forgot his flute. Our action is forgot. So we're going to put our line right before the verb. Now let's split our sentence into two parts. The complete subject, Brian, and the complete predicate, forgot his flute. Number three. The yellow canary fell in love with the shiny mirror. Our action is fell in love. So we're going to put our line right before the verb. Our complete subject is the yellow canary. Our complete predicate is fell in love with the shiny mirror. Go ahead and do numbers 4 through 10. So pause the video right now and complete those before moving on to the back. On the back of your page, you should see Unit 2 DIY for Level 1, 65 W2. Subjects and predicates compound. Let's look at our first part. It says some sentences have more than one simple subject or simple predicate. A compound subject is two or more simple subjects that have the same predicate. The simple subjects are joined by and, or, or but. Let's look at our first example. Mummies and art objects are found in Egyptian tombs. Our verb is are, so we're going to put our line right there. Now we have two different things that are found in Egyptian tombs, and that's mummies and art objects. So it's a compound subject, meaning there are two things doing one action. A compound predicate is two or more simple predicates that have the same subject. The simple predicates are connected by and, or, or but. In other words, a compound predicate is, has one subject or one thing doing two different actions. So let's look at our example. Our first verb is excavated. So we're going to put our line right there in front of the first verb. So now let's split our sentence into two parts. The first part is the ar archaeologist, which is doing the actions, and our actions are excavated the tomb and discovered the treasure. Some sentences have both a compound subject and a compound predicate. So that means there are two subjects doing two different things. Our sentence says, the Pharaoh and his wife loved the people and did many good works. Let's find our first verb, which is loved. Put our line. We have an and right here. 
and on either side of the and we have our two subjects, the pharaoh and his wife. Now our predicate. We have and right here. And on either side we have the two different actions. They both loved the people and did many good works. Let's look at exercise one. It says, draw one line under the compound subject and two lines under the simple predicate that they share. So we're only going to have one predicate, but we will have two subjects. Let's do one through three together. Rome and Florence are two cities in Italy. Our verb, put our line, here's our and. Our two subjects are Rome and Florence. And the simple predicate is are. Number two, both Sarah and Caroline were chosen for the team. Were chosen is our verb, so we're going to put our line. Now let's look at our subject. Here's and, our simple subject, or subjects I should say, are Sarah and Caroline. And what were Sarah and Caroline doing? Or what did what happened? They were chosen. There's our simple predicate. Number three. Cinders and ashes rose from the fire. Our verb is rose. So we're going to put our line. Let's look at our subject. We have an and, so I'm going to circle that. Our simple subjects are cinders and ashes. Our simple predicate is rose. Go ahead and do 4 through 14. After you're finished, you are able to uh, turn this into the tray. Again, make sure that your name is up at the top.